Owen Sillinger has been a key cog offensively for the Bemidji State men's hockey team ever since he arrived at BSU in 2018. Last week, the now senior captain for the Beavers found out he was nominated for the, to be a finalist for the Hobie Baker Award, in large part due to the impressive offensive numbers he's put up this year. But Sillinger's grittiness, competitiveness, and instincts on the ice is what makes him a complete player. On paper, of course, it's hard to miss Sillinger's 32-point score, which is tied for third best in the country. Last weekend against Bowling Green, Sillinger scored his 100th career point, becoming just the seventh Beaver ever to accomplish that feat since becoming a Division I program in 2000. But not many know that Sillinger has won 308 face-offs this season. That's the most by any player in D1 hockey. Being that consistent on the face-off comes down to having other great players on your line and simply put, just being quicker than the other guy across from you. I mean, my mindset going in there is just to be the better, be the better guy in the faceoff. That honestly, it's just me versus the guy across from me. I don't really think too much about it tactically. Honestly, um, anything I can do to kind of get my stick in there first and just allow you know Alex and Lucas to make a play, and then after that, honestly, it's just battle level. So my dad, uh, he's taught me a lot about uh, kind of the, t the tactical kind of side of stuff like that. But I mean, honestly, in the moment, it's just you versus the guy across from you, and just you got to figure it out on your own. So Owen plays the game on. He, he's an honest hockey player. You know, he's worried about winning the faceoff. He's worried about getting above the puck. Um, he's worried about, you know, he, wa he's, he wants to finish his check. And uh, he wants to prevent that goal on the kill. When you do those things, when it's part of your game and that's who you are, you don't have bad games. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.